Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I'm here with Ian. And so we're going to take a little bit of time and minister to people uh, that we love. So you can look on the list. If your name is there, um, I want to encourage you, once you listen to the prophetic word, just go and uh, write down what God has said to you, and pray about it, get instructions from Him, get affirmations. It's always good to to judge the word and and get from the Lord instructions what he wants you to do with it. All right, so I just want to say I love each and every one uh, at Unity with Heaven and also in our church family. Uh, so this week it was quite weird <laughs> because I um, I applied for monetization I think in April. <laughs> And yesterday evening, they sent me an email. <laughs> it's been approved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well yeah, after done. such a long time, and I didn't understand what I what I did in the first place not to get it, and then I didn't understand why I got it now. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, that's that's fine. Um, but uh, uh, the, the channel's monetized. It means I can get um, for every ten views, I can get about one cent. <laughs> that that, that kind of gives you an idea what they pay, but I mean, it's something. So, um, uh, so we're going to jump in. We're going to minister to, what's it, 11 people. Um, please write comments and just encourage us so that we know you've listened to the word and uh, maybe it means something to you. So you can just give us a little bit of encouragement. We all appreciate that. All right, so we're going to jump in. The first person I want to minister to is Rainier van der Merwe. Uh, so Rainier, uh, the Lord is just showing to me how you're running the race and, and the Lord reminds me of that scripture where Paul was saying I run the race to win and I felt that the Lord says you run in a natural but you're also running in a spiritual and the Lord is strengthening you and you should not uh, stop but you must endure, uh, keep your joy, uh, keep uh, the wisdom that God has for you uh, and just bring the presence of God and the joy of God, the peace of God into every situation in your life. The Lord is with you. His hand and of blessing is upon you and He's raising you up as an elder with authority in your voice. God bless you, Rainier. I don't need the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Uh, the picture that I got for you was you are always catching fish with a pole so you catch them one by one. Now the Lord gives you wisdom to catch them like a net. You catch a lot of them at once. And that is a picture of your ministry, how the Lord is going to help you, where you help one person at a time or you disciple one person at a time, where you're going to be able to reach a lot of people. But it's not necessarily that it's going to take a long time like with a, um, like a fishing pole, but it will be you throw in, you pull up the net, there'll be fish in it. So God's really going to give you wisdom how to work with multitudes of people. And I just see an exciting season ahead where um, you're going to labor, but you will get a lot of reward for that. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. Ranir, God bless you. So the next word is for Ifishuku. So Ifishuku, the Lord is just giving me these words of uh, technology, uh, skills and knowledge that the Lord is giving to you along with networking and community and all of those are part of the ingredients that the Lord is bringing together in your life uh, for you to grow and to have success and I felt you had a, a first launch in your life but I felt there's going to be a second launch the way the Lord is going to launch you to the next level. God bless you Ifushuku. Hi Ifushuku, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. The picture that I got for you was um, in the beginning you had to make a lot of plans and I see this picture of slops that you uh, make out of a bottle uh, but later on you had the finances to go and buy those slops and I just see how the Lord's going to give you wisdom where it's not always going to be to make a plan to get things to work but it, out of the provision uh, that the Lord has given you things will start to work you will uh, get multiplication things will go faster and you will not need to make plans for everything the whole time it's just gonna be like automated your systems will start to kick in place and the hard work is definitely gonna start to pay off now be blessed god bless you so the next word is for brenda uh, brenda uh, i just see how you are uh, serving the Lord wherever you go and especially uh, I see children around you and how you teach them how you raise them in the ways of the Lord and how you teach them how to uh, remain in the presence of God to create an environment uh, where the Holy Spirit is welcome around you and then I, I see you making things beautiful uh, wonderful tasting food 
uh, making your house and where your family live beautiful uh, and even uh, your car um, i see there's one or two small maintenance issues there the lord helps you to get that sorted also uh, um, so so everything runs smooth and you know if you think about how you maintain something you put grease or oil onto uh, some equipment and then it can work nicely and I just see how the Lord uh, puts spiritual but also natural grease and oil and all on everything that's happening in your life so that it can function nicely. The Lord is taking you out of chaos into peace. God bless you Brenda. Hi Brenda, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Uh, the picture that I saw for you was that you, um, you when, when the lake is quiet you can go with a canoe you can go with a motorboat but when the water makes the wakes uh, if you go with a motorboat it's quite hard where the canoe doesn't feel that much of an effect and i just see in your work area where you wanted to move faster but that caused a lot of disturbance and um, it, it was quite a difficult circumstance and i just see how the lord's going to give you peace into your circumstances so that the water becomes smooth and you can uh, work at a fast pace but also have the peace of the environment uh, in your work area that you need be blessed awesome brenda god bless you so the next word is for jason uh, so jason uh, i i felt that the lord says you need to get that balance between work and family and even the recreational activities just uh, fix that balance and I felt it's really good uh, for you and even your family to get out into nature and just be together without being in that rat race or that busyness uh, of being at home. And I see, I don't know if you like fishing or hiking or, um, you know, getting outside and do something, but I, I really felt you need to take your family out of the environment into nature where they can just connect with each other and connect with God and just get new perspective and also receive that rest and that peace that God wants to give uh, to you so um, I, I don't know if you guys uh, uh, can go on a holiday or have budget or time available to do it but I, I really feel the family needs some time where they can uh, recuperate God bless you Jason Hi Jason the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you the picture that I saw for you was uh, you were working on a car and you had a wheel spanner you take off the wheel and somebody comes to you and asks you what are you doing and you said i'm not quite sure uh, but you know you have to take off the wheel of the car but there was nothing wrong with the car uh, with the wheel and i just see how the lord's going to give you wisdom to to see what is necessary to do and what is not really necessary to do there's a lot of things on your plate that you can give to somebody else to do and there's definitely things that you're going to do as well but i just see how there's wisdom coming in to discern what is really important and what is not important what do you need to do and what can you leave out and give to somebody else to do be blessed hey god bless you uh jason so the next word is for april april i see how you um write a lot of thank you notes and you give a lot of gifts to people in your life that are special to you and as you do it you just build a closer collection with all of them and then there's also blessings that comes again from their lives into your life and so um, it, it felt to me like you became a little isolated and a little bit disconnected so what I felt you should do is you should go and get make a list of people that you really want to stay connected to in your life and then give them gifts and give them thank you cards uh, words of encouragement and and just kind of work a little bit with a plan um, I know those things happen naturally, but sometimes you can sit and say, that's what I want to do. And I felt you need to do that because you need to have a strong network around you uh, for the next season that's going to be in your life. And so that's what I felt God is instructing you to do. God bless you, April. Hi, April. The Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. The picture that I saw for you was you were constantly keeping the clock, uh, the watch. You, you were constantly looking at it because you're concerned about the time and you're so focused on the time and then i see suddenly all of the uh, what's a visor all of the hands of the clock falls down to six and it doesn't work uh, and i just see a disconnection of time where the lord is gonna say well this is the start of the day this is the end of the day the rest of the day in between you have to do your work but it's not going to be that you're so time conscious that you are afraid of the time 
but you're going to use the time and i just see how it's going to give you peace because you put yourself under pressure to get things done um, while there is still time and you time yourself but in in that process the concerns that you've got is actually slowing you down so the lord's just helping you to disconnect in a good way from time be blessed hey awesome april god bless you uh, so uh bridget um uh, the Lord showed me two things. Uh, the first thing was a big old lock that needs to be split. Uh, and it really took a lot of effort of you to take that axe and to eat it and to split it. And I felt that the Lord says, put in the effort and break that yoke, that obstacle that's in your way. Overcome it. And so that means you're not going to live a balanced life. You're going to put a lot of hours and effort in and you're going to overcome it and split that problem so it's open and then it's going to be useful you know if you split the wood then you can use it for firewood or whatever you want to do with it uh, but i i felt you need to persist the lord is going to help you uh, he's going to give you that strength that samson also had uh, to overcome then the second one the lord showed me a, um, a orchard with rose bushes uh, and i saw how you cut uh, um, you prune all of those roses uh, and then they produce almost double the amount of roses. Now, what happens with a rose bush, if you don't prune it, it makes lots of small little branches in all kinds of directions. And then all the energy of the rose bush is distributed to many parts. So it can't make nice, big, beautiful flowers. It's going to make a bunch of small little ones that doesn't actually come to its fullness. And so therefore, if you want really nice uh, roses, you need to actually prune it so that there's less big branches and i felt in your life you are getting busy with too many things and you need to simplify your life and that means you have to prune say no uh, this is what i'm gonna do that's what i'm not gonna do and so that's the process that the lord shows me that you need to go through in your life hi bridget the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you uh, i saw you're drinking a cup of coffee uh, with a friend and that cup of coffee like the caffeine sometimes gives you a boost or it just helps you to get through the day so is your friendship towards that friend every time you spend time with that friend i just see how she's encouraged and how she uh, just feel that it's time well spent the same as the caffeine would give you so uh, sometimes it it may seem that she she is a bit pushy and she comes over a lot but i just see how she really needs friendship and how the Lord put her on your path so that you can help her, minister to her, so that she just gets restored and revived in her soul. And I just see just the, the answer is always love. Handle every circumstance with love and you will give her actually tremendous wisdom by just using those words. Be blessed. Hey Bridget, God bless you. Uh, so the next word is for Paul. Uh, Paul, uh, what I felt the Lord is saying to me, it's just that he wants to affirm you as his son and say to you that I love you very, very much and uh, that he is proud of you and that you uh, are, um, you don't have to perform to, to be worthy of his love, but he just wants to bestow his love unconditionally, to pour it onto you and, and over you. And I see how you have a priestly and a kingly anointing in your life and how you go into the temple of God and you can almost not stand as you stand in the presence of God. So that's the first thing. The second thing that the Lord shows me, Paul, is a, a breakthrough in, a, in a, a strategy that you get for the business where you work. And I see that a strategy helps that business to be more productive and also to make more profit and it affects the leadership of the business and also uh, lower layers of management uh, because they have to change the way they do things because of the strategy that you got and i see how you work on it for a while until you've perfected your strategy and then you present it and then uh, they're quite excited about it so i just felt you're going to figure out a way how to make that business more profitable God bless you, Paul. Hi, Paul. The Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. Uh, yeah, the picture that I saw for you was there's a big river and there's a lot of smaller streams running into and feeding that same river. And I just see how you constantly working to maintain the small um, streams that enter the big river. And how the Lord says, don't waste your time on the small ones. Focus on the big river, the main core 
of the river and then I just see how even the the small ones dry up but the volume of the river does not decrease it actually starts to increase because your focus is on the core business it's on the core objective it's not about uh, scattered all over the place and that's actually going to help you a lot to to get the actual river flowing again be blessed hey awesome uh, god bless you paul uh, please write us a comment so the next word is for alida uh, so alida um, i see how you are on a scenic cruise uh, with baron and you guys driving and you see beautiful things uh, but then i see uh, you drive up and down uh, to work and back and to tasks that you have to do and although you're still driving the same speed now you're focused now you're going somewhere and i felt that the lord says that that's how it is in a natural but that's also how it is in a spiritual that the lord is giving you a very specific direction and that right now you're not going to go back and forth and be stagnant but you're going to start going in a direction and accomplish things for god and it is going to be a area of ministry a area of work but also an area of creativity so um you know some people like to write a book or write music or to do poems or to build something or paint something but i felt you're gonna find a creative outlet where you can also uh, kind of express yourself god bless you alida hi alida the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you yeah i saw a picture of the shield that the lord has given you and that shield you use to protect yourself a lot uh, even against family members but i just see how the lord gives you the helmet of salvation where you're going to get so much wisdom that you do not always need that shield to defend of those people but you allow them to come in you speak to them you give them wisdom and they are not going to attack you they are not going to try and devour you but actually they're going to start to respect you for all the input that you've given uh, but i just see how the lord says i'm going to give you that it's like oil on water even though it's a small drop of oil it covers a, a very big piece of water and that is just one small drop of love will have that same effect where it will cover a multitude of water so i just see how the lord says when you add love that you'll definitely get the the right response from people be blessed hey alida god bless you so next word is for john uh, so john uh, the lord is showing to me a, a kingly crown on your head and i see you in, in your office and you busy doing business uh, and there's also people that are subordinate to you uh, but then uh, you do business with someone it's a very important person uh, that can really uh, help your business and your income to grow but instead of trying to sell to that person you listen to that person and you realize but they need prayer they need encouragement and they need uh, advice on personal things and so you kind of step a little bit out of that kingly function and you go more in a uh, the function of someone that's a brother that loves another um, uh, uh, believer in jesus and you just encourage him and you release the word of the lord on him and pray for for that person and then i see how that person is really touched and then suddenly the the floodgates of heaven opens up of blessings that comes to you and new connections just because you were willing to seek the kingdom of god first uh, and the lord used that as a seed so that he can then bless you also financially so i just felt in that office where you are um, be sensitive to the holy spirit if he says now's the time to encourage that person or even pray for the person don't hold back uh take boldness and step in and do it and you'll see how the lord will bless you not only in that area of ministry but in all the areas of your life god bless you john hi john the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you i saw a picture of you uh stopping at the cross and you tie in your shoelaces and then i see how you pick up your cross and you walk with it and i see how there's lots of things that hindered you from carrying on and carrying your cross in life but i see how the lord says through all of the circumstances that you have become stronger you've got the ability to take up your cross and walk with it and then i just see how you thought it's going to be such a big burden it actually becomes a big blessing how it's changing your mood your your just the way you respond to people where you some days you've felt depressed but now 
because you've got your cross. I just see how the joy comes out of you. And that joy is going to be contagious. When you speak to people, they will love to be in your presence. They, they will love to hear from you. And they will actually care a lot about you. Be blessed. Hey, God bless you. Uh, so the next word is for Anthony. Anthony, uh, the Lord is just showing to me how you are on fire for Jesus. Uh, but I also see a tremendous amount of pressure on you. And how the Lord just supernaturally come and He removes that pressure from you. And you can breathe and you can feel uh, that peace of God upon your life. But I felt that the Lord says that heat, that uh, on fire for Jesus, that has been for a while part of your life. And you haven't cooled down. Um, I know in Revelation chapter 3, uh, when it talks there, I think it's a church to Lao the Sea, they the lukewarm church. Uh, and... I, I see that you are definitely not lukewarm. You are on fire for Jesus. And then the Lord showed me a big truck. Uh, and how that truck, the diesel truck, needs to be a little bit warmer for it to run well. When you just start it up, it, it, it needs to heat up a little bit and then it can run well. And so you run well in your life if you are on fire for Jesus. God bless you, Anthony. Hi, Anthony. The Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Uh, the picture that I saw for you was you had an umbrella, but the umbrella was one of the sections were missing so every time you walk in the rain and somebody walks with you you are considerate and you shielded them but you were exposed and you got wet and then i see the lord says well done you have done well you've got a very good heart and i see how the lord takes away that umbrella but he gives you a big umbrella where it's not just uh, for another person you and another person it is actually for more people and i just see how more people come into your life but you care for them and you help them. Uh, but this time you're not going to be exposed as you used to be. The Lord's going to cover you. And it's just going to be a joyous time where you love to work with people. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. Thank you very much, Anthony. God bless you. So, uh, Marina, uh, the Lord is showing to me two coverings over your life. Uh, so, the one covering is the relationships that you have in your life. People that pray for you. People that love you. Um, even being part of our lives uh, that's a covering that you have in your life and then the second covering i see is a covering that you get when you spend time in the presence of god it's as if the lord is just stopping the enemy trying to come steal from you or harm the family and it all happens when you spend that time praying declaring the word of god um, and reading the, the, the Bible and listening to what God says and being obedient, uh, getting your instructions every day and also for the year. And so I felt that the Lord says is um, this year that covering is going from a, a thin little sheet like you have on an umbrella to a steel dome. And so I felt that the covering is just becoming so much stronger in your life and it's almost as if there's a discipline and a revelation about prayer and about declaring the word that the Lord is giving to you to transform that covering into something that's very, very solid. Uh, and it brings not only protection for you, but it also brings prote protection for your family and for your children. God bless you, Marina. Hi, Marina. The Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. The picture that I saw for you was you were sitting with the books of the business and how I just see you seemed a bit concerned and you were scratching your head you're not sure what's going on and then i see how you pour oil over the books and how the anointing goes like veins or like uh, cables to the root of the problem and i just see how there's a reviving of the dead sections and i just see multiple streams of income where the people that owes money is starting to pay money uh, but they will be blessed as well so i pray over your books but that every person that that is part of your business meaning the the clients when you pray over them their lives are going to be blessed as well so that the blessing they have they will actually be able to afford uh, to pay uh, whatever they owe and be actually constantly paying what they need to pay and i just see how it's going to give you a lot of joy but you need to, I see there's some some things that you're just going to cut off and you're not going to speak negative about it. You're going to speak positive, uh, but pray over it and bless people. Be blessed. Hey, Marina, God bless you. Family, it was such a pleasure for us to minister to you. Uh, I also want to encourage you, just go and check out uh, the Unity with Heaven teaching channel. Uh, Jan also have a, a channel, I'll put his link also in the description. Uh, then you guys can go and see what he's also doing. Um, 
It was wonderful for us to minister to you. Yeah. God bless oh, all of you. Blessing. Thank you.